best YouTube football moment. Chris MD has done a tier list of this, and I'm going to be honest, it honed. His list was terrible. So I'm here to set the record straight of where I think these things should be. I reacted to his on stream, so if you want to see that, it's on Miniman's clip, or check his original video. Go check it out. It's on his Chris Dixon channel. So we have these moments, and we can rank them as goats. Greatest of all time. Hang it in the Louvre. Streets won't forget. Streets may forget and won't be remembered after 2030. I'm going through them in the same order he went through them, and I'm going to compare where he put them to where I put them. First up, me hitting De Bruyne in the face. Now, this might be my biggest accomplishment ever. Me, Sane, Sterling, De Bruyne, Caballero. We all took one penalty each. I did the Rabona, hit the post, hit him in the face. You know the rest. My video is on 9.9 .9 million, which I'll take, considering I uploaded that eight months after Man City uploaded it. Didn't receive footage. Just saying. 5.5 mil. Chris is on a 25 mil. He took up 12, uh, no, 11 out of our 15 minutes. Screw you, Christopher. But that moment, it went so mad. I I'm sorry, but it's go. He is one of the best players in the world. I'll forgive Chris, but he put it in Hang It in the Louvre. I'll still take it. Maybe it's not that goated. Next, we have Vic being bullied by KSI, the Stop Vic Abuse, where he just had the giant football. JJ runs at it. This moment here. Vic's just rolling it to start the video, and I don't know what goes through JJ's mind. But... <laughs> Look, I don't think it's... It's not, it's not that bad. I'm between won't forget and may forget. I think it is a big moment in a video. Streets won't forget. It was a, it was a big moment, and people do bring it up more often than I thought they would. That literally started Stop Vic Abuse. Chris MD... Flicking it over Carragher. I don't know. Who else did he do it over? Robert Perez and Jamie Carragher. Like he gets in here. Over Perez. Over Carragher. And then plays the ball forward. Now, I'm going to be honest. I didn't know this happened. The thing is, that whatever I put his, uh, his moments in, I feel like it's going to look like I'm salty because he put mine lower. But I'm not. This moment, though, no one's remembering that moment after 2030. It didn't even end in anything. Like, a charity match, if it was a goal... Fair enough. But when it's just like a little flip, that's not being remembered after 2030. That's not being remembered after 2026. Chris has put it, streets won't forget. Interesting. Interessante. Anderson Gibb with the rainbow flick. This is one of the cleanest rainbow flicks I have ever seen in my life. Look at this moment. I'm about embarrassed at school. Let me give you a secret. I'm the about rainbow flick his ass. Let go. This is unreal. So good. <laughs> and then the celebrations a match. He committed to it. Committed to it. Where does that go? It's streets. <sighs> this is genuinely stuck in my head. When he when I see Gib, I think Rainbow Flick. But I'm sorry, I think that's won't be remembered. I reckon a lot of people watching this right now don't remember that moment. Sorry, Gib. I think that moment is amazing, but I'm trying to get a generalization of it. Theo Baker filming with Mia Khalifa. How yeah, this has happened. Mia Khalifa, that's right. We're doing a he had to do dizzy penalties. Great pen. Great pen. Yeah, this, I don't know how this collab came about, but it broke a little bit of the internet. I mean, it's on 2.9 mil views. It didn't go like super viral. The streets definitely won't forget it. Do I think hang it in the Louvre? No. I think top of streets won't forget. If I had to pick out one football clip that is like the streets won't forget, it probably, I would use that sentence about that video. Like the streets will never forget Theo filming a video with... Mia Khalifa. He's put it. Hang it in the Louvre. There's an argument I hear, but at the same time, I don't I don't think so. Harry shushing Ronaldo. He did a video in Ronaldo's back garden with his brother. How? 71 million views. Look, he's lining up the shush. It's a full-on shush while he shoots. Unreal. To do that to Ronaldo in his own back garden. I know it's on like 70 million views, by the way. But I feel like it wasn't talked about as much as it should have been. I think if Ronaldo was the GOAT over Messi, this would have been so... Like, this would have been like 300 million views. I think it's still it's still GOAT. I got KDB. He's got Ronaldo. He shushed him. I hit him in the face. There's arguments for either. I'll, I, Ronaldo above KDB. We'll put it there. He's put this in GOAT. That's fair. My halfway line goal. This is like the only angle we have. We have this one behind the goal. Marcus Butler rolls it to me. Over Lux. Honestly, for anyone who actually plays football, that is an unreal goal. Like, Cal couldn't have got there. It hits the net. So that Chris wondered, right, this bit here. 
I do that. Chris is always like, I always wonder what that weird laugh was. This was years ago. I look over at someone and they go like, ah! So I go, ah! That's what it was. It's not me laughing. But I'm gonna be honest, streets won't forget. I'll put it top, but streets won't forget. The angle, the fact that I don't have multiple camera angles. Like if I did that last year, we had all the camera angles, all the replays. For some reason, whoever was streaming this didn't record all camera angles. Idiots. If I had all the angles, I'd put it and hang it in the loop. The charity match, I feel like, yeah. It's an amazing goal, but that doesn't make the moment that amazing. We were 7-2 up. Hasn't won the game or anything. He's put it in bloody go. There's no way. I know it's a halfway line goal, so it is pretty sick. But no. The speed tackle on JJ. So JJ takes a touch. Speed comes in. Wipes him out. Beautiful tackle. It's such a... Well, it's not a good tackle. It's actually horrific. Like, we're 17 seconds in, by the way. 17 into the game. Even that picture. It's hanging in the loop. You've got two of the biggest creators in the world combining in one moment where one of them has just like destroyed the other it's hang it in the loop that picture alone is like that's art he's put it streets may forget absolutely not i would understand streets won't forget oh god this is gonna it's gonna come across really bad now isn't it chris md scoring the second goal in the second charity match he was he has the ball in his hands boots it up 89th minute by the way let's just clear this up 89th minute they're one nil up the thing i hate about this is like everyone's always like ah oh, you wouldn't have disliked this game if you had won i would have liked it more i want goals i'd rather lose 10-6 than win one nil in a charity match not in like a normal match obviously but yeah one nil up 89th minute he was he boots it up josh don't know what he's doing there chris takes a, a nice touch on the head turns in Cuts inside, fakes it, and then slots it far post. Charlie Morley as well, good goalkeeper. It is a great goal. However, the amount of times I have mentioned this game to people and they have they have said, what game was this? It streets may forget. It didn't win the game. You already won nil up. It's in the last minute when people have kind of given up. I, I don't think that many people remember that goal. Where's he? Put, he's put it in, hang it in the Louvre. Right. Chris MD scoring this goal, by the way, is one of the best goals I've ever seen on YouTube football. The edit is unreal. And then, what a goal. It's so good. And by the way, that's the tallest goalkeeper in FIFA. He's he's like League 1 or 2. League 1 or 2. So he's a very good goalkeeper. And he scored that. And it was a 100 shot, the 100 shot video. So it's a legit like... He wasn't doing them constantly. He didn't have a thousand attempts. Oh my God. That was one of the best goals I've ever scored in my entire life. That is unreal. As a moment, it's a volley in a video. And it's not even like one of his most viewed videos. It's not a, an outrageous goal to be like Ronaldo, for example. I don't think people are going to remember that video. I'd probably put it there. Now, this next one was a shout out to Kieran. If you guys don't know Kieran. He has some of the best ideas for football videos. And he basically has this video that's 50 million views. Footballers fake these tricks, but did I did them for real. Like this. He'll, he'll do this for four hours. Jogs up. Beautiful. Like, so simple, yet so good. It was more of a mention. It is this. It's more the fact that it's just like, it's got to have a mention for a football video to have 50 million views. There, there aren't that many, YouTube-wise, anyway. Speed scoring an offside goal. Noah Beck passes it to Nico, and Speed takes it. And great finish. What a finish. But the fact that he celebrates, the whole crowd celebrate. He still doesn't know. Oh, no, now he does. <laughs> takes his shirt off. Gets angry. Takes the yellow and runs over and hits Mark Clattenburg. <laughs> Game. He whips his bum. It's such a good moment. This is a better moment than the tackle. I might have to put that there and move this one down. But those are the two big moments in that game, to be fair. Harry bodying Ethan. Ethan's already been bodied by this point. But he finally makes it round them. JJ misses. You got to take your shoes off for the slip and slide. It was meant to be like an end zone. Once you're past the penalty box, you, you don't get hit. But he had no thought in his mind that he was getting hit here. Body went limp. Oh, it was bad. Do I put it above Vic? The stop Vic abuse was huge. So I personally think it might be Streets May Forget. I think because Ethan's had 
bigger injuries. Like the total wipeout to me is the first one that comes to mind with Ethan. So I think that's got to be there. I don't know. I can hear other arguments. He's put it streets won't forget. I hear that one too. Vic doing it for the unpaid workers. So good. The fact that he hit it. Vic could not kick a ball at this point. 58 million views as well. That's hang it in the Louvre. Vic football moment. I know this one is a Vic football moment. It's not a Vic football moment. It's a Vic moment. The Vic football moments have to go top. They gotta be top two. He's put it streets won't forget. Can hear it, but reject it. Chris scoring the Ronaldo free kick. This took him like five days. <laughs> the editing, the editing is so jokes. It's it moves so much, like it is actually an unreal free kick. But the streets may forget it, Chris. I'm sorry, but th it's true. I mean, you put it there yourself. Before anyone starts saying I'm being biased, he's put it there himself. It's probably below those two, to be fair. Now another Chris MD moment is Chris with his cat, where his cat was like the best goalkeeper ever. So you had clips like him doing this, and then you had like that. It looks unreal. Remarkable piece of goalkeeping I have ever seen. Like, this actually baited me fully. I was like, there's no way it's real, but at the same time, I can't find anything wrong with it. This made it onto BBC, James Corden show. That was an unreal, unreal thing. That's Hang It In The Louvre. I go top of Hang It In The Louvre. That was unreal. He's put that streets won't forget. How? That is so clear of this goal. Make it onto BBC for something that you've purposely faked to fool the world is... Yeah. Steven tries VVF2. Now, if you don't know, basically, they had a huge back and forth. Chris explains it very well in his video, so I'm not going to. That, like, saga all spawned from the Wembley Cup. Any any stigma that they may have, or Jeremy mainly, came from that saga. The streets definitely won't forget it. That again, by the way, that and the Theo Baker video are the definition of, like, streets won't forget. He's put that in Hang It In The Louvre. I think loads of people won't even remember it now. I don't know. It's too... It was too niche. Now, this is my biggest issue here. Time to smash it. I know he's got Ronaldo, and I know I've got KDB. But I think the majority of, like, boys and a lot of girls, majority have seen me say time to smash it from the age of probably, like, 12 to 30. I think that is goated. I'm bigging up myself for once. I know I put myself in goat for that one, but come on, I hit KDB in the face. Time to smash it. That moment... It's, t it's, come on, man. It's my best moment, I'd say. He put it straight in Hang It In The Louvre. And I know Hang It In The Louvre is very high, but he's put it below my halfway line goal. I can hear it behind the KDB, but this, this is a cultural moment. I'm not going to talk anymore. Uh, if I speak, I'm in trouble. Bates and 87's shorts falling down the web. Ball gets kicked up. Bateson's playing up front. And his, uh, his shorts start falling down. So he's got to pull them up while running. It's just a silly little one, but I mean, streets won't forget. Like, the streets won't forget, but it won't be remembered after 2030. But he agreed. We're, we, we are the same. He's got four of them that I would put there. Well, I also put the flicks in there. It won't be... It won't be remembered. The flicks won't. Theo Baker scoring what was voted Wembley's best goal of that year. So, keeper gets it here. Rolls it out. Looks to Theo in the middle. Okay, so he's picked it up in his own half. He kind of runs past Siangani. I don't know who that was. Poet scuffs it, takes it round one, flicks it past Carragher, and puts it puts it past the goalkeeper. It is an insane goal. Siangani never really catches up. This guy doesn't really try. Poet actually does kind of tackle him, and that's where it gets good. It's from his own half, and the fact it's Wembley, it's go. Maybe above, uh, maybe above the K. DB. Best goal at Wembley. He over, he beat everything else. I'll put it. I'll put it there. Chris MD penalty. I know he'll want this to be forgotten. But Chris MD takes the penalty straight down the middle. Scuffs the touch. That is. Uh, oh, streets won't forget it. The thing is, the streets won't let him forget it. I, I think it could be lower. We've had two penalties. It gets brought up the fact that Vic scored and he missed, so it gets put in the same breath. And Vic's is obviously a huge moment. JJ meeting Heskey. Yeah, This, uh, this moment, like, this moment was massive. But I don't think it kind of lived up to the expectation. It was very nice. It was a very nice, wholesome moment. I feel like it didn't really do what I thought it would. I think it's the streets won't forget. I know I'm putting loads in here, but the streets won't forget it. Maybe, like, there. Put that there. Yeah, I think that's 
That's about right. Streets won't forget it, but I don't think it, it went all the way up. He's put it there as well. It seems like I'm not getting anything different for his. Kalux, aka the Pussy Destroyer. The Pussy Destroyer. <laughs> <laughs> So unnecessary. Why did he say it? The streets may forget, you know. Like, I think if you said Kalex the Pussy Destroyer to a lot of people, they'd go, why are you saying that? Why are you calling him that? Yeah, he's put it there too. I'm really counteracting myself, aren't I? Joe Weller with his Ronaldo kissing video. It was a very weird video if you actually think back to it. There's only a really bad version on YouTube. I think he privated it. But yeah, Joe Weller... He literally was like a... He was like a cultural icon. It was more than these. I kind of want to... Like, the impact he had over that kind of period. I kind of want to put it in Hang It In The Louvre. It was massive. And, like, everyone saw that video. I'm pretty certain... I think Ronaldo saw it. I kind of have to say it's there. Harry falling off his roof. This here. Everyone wondered how he did this. It was actually such a good... Uh, like, the way he missed the ball, he went perfectly around it. It's a really good fall. And I imagine no matter what was there, it still hurt. Uh, the streets won't forget it. It's not It's not the biggest moment. Yeah, it's about there, I reckon. Streets may forget. Nah, I don't think the streets will forget that. Connor hitting the perfect shot to win uh, an, an NFT of the shot, I think. The main thing about this is the fact that they tried for this whole thing. Didn't score an insane goal. And then they gave him one chance. <laughs> like Harry misses the ball. So Connor, wearing trainers, gets one chance. Oh my God. <laughs> it is unreal. One take as well. What a man. Streets won't forget. Again, we're talking. We're not talking the footballing ability of it. That, as a moment, streets won't forget. As a goal, don't get me wrong, that's goated. This is Vic Star's open play goal. So Chris takes it down, passes it to me. I play in Vic. Vic takes a touch. Far post. Cal probably could have saved it, but it's Vic. Like, he is the only player that will make both teams celebrate. Originally, I was thinking for it, top of hang it in the Louvre, but I'm actually thinking maybe that. Maybe it is go. It is such a moment, isn't it? That was our first goal. We were 2-0 down, and Vic is the player that pulls us out of the depths. I think it's got to be goated. He's put that as goated, but this is what pisses me off. He's put Vic Star's penalty and hang it in the Louvre. And I don't care that an open play goal is harder to score. Vic Star's penalty is one of the most iconic moments of YouTube football history. It goes into first place. That moment is used everywhere. That moment is... That moment was the match. Yeah, 100%. This penalty is just... It's such an awkward run. In the in. Can Vic put it in? That moment is goated. Look, look at every every single person. Like, look, Will and E's joined in. Freezy's joined in. Kalux has joined in. Everyone joined in. Goated. Number one. Harry's crossbar challenge. He's hit the crossbar countless times but 72 million views it is the greatest harry crossbar challenge josh misses now it's a free-for-all perfect i don't care that it's just a crossbar challenge and he's done it a hundred times hang it in the loop all day every day might be top you know what i'm gonna put it top Hang it in the Louvre. that moment is iconic i feel bad because chris is right now uh, he's got one moment in hang it in the Louvre. two streets may forget and two won't be remembered. But it's what it, it's how it is. Me smashing the window out of a car. We actually were doing this for so long. Like, we we were getting some clean hits, but not hard enough. And we finally got it. Made Shannon cry as well. Not bad. But let's be honest. It, it's down here. It's probably, to be honest, it's probably... You know what? I'll put it there. These two could be top of won't be remembered. He's put it in streets won't forget. The streets have forgotten. Lewis breaking his face. So I'm not going to show the actual thing. But Lewis here, he runs into this. He misses the corner somehow, runs into it. I'm not going to show the injury because it is horrific. If you do need to see it, go look at it. I remember we were all so focused on JJ that we all just kicked the ball at him. Lewis just sprinting at a fence. That's a definite streets won't forget. I might, I'm going to put it there. I think that's a fair play. Joe Weller versus Jamie Carragher. Well, this was another beef like the Stephen tries moment. Jamie Carragher just hated Weller for some reason. Like, Why has he swung his leg? The ball wasn't even going there. He's just kicked Weller. And then he, he goes, you fucking stupid little twat or prick. And then he look here, he elbows Theo as well. It was weird. Like, it was Wembley Cup. I didn't... Yeah. But I feel like people have forgotten it. I'd probably put it there. The streets may have forgotten it. Weller at this time, that was a big thing. JB Carragher was even replying to him and stuff. I think streets may forget it, though. And then the final clip. The most obvious one out of all of them. Oh! 
That shot is the number one most viral moment. It's the goat of all goat clips. Sorry, Vic. I'm putting your second to that. That moment clears everything. Like, that's not close to being number two. That's not close to being number three. I'm gonna be arrogant. That's not close to being number four. Here's one I don't think, as much as it got Wembley's best goal, I don't know how much attention that got. Obviously, things have just got bigger since then, so maybe it's recency bias. But yeah, we've got those four moments. Harry's crossbar. Almost in go. These are all hanging in the loop. Joe's maybe moved down. Streets won't forget. the loop. That could move up. This could move up. I'm happy with the rest. Maybe I'm being... Stupid, but the whole reason I did this right. Look at my top three. That's the number one, as I'm saying. That's the number two, and that's the number three. Hang it in the Louvre. Hang it in the Louvre. Hang it in the Louvre. There is no. There's no way, Chris. You've put these three clips in the same as your your last minute charity match goal. This is outrageous. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the heat. I'm gonna swap those two rounds. That makes me happy. Let me know in the comments down below how bad were some of these. How good was it? Is there moments you think I've I've given way too much credit? Is there moments you think that don't have enough credit? And bear in mind, I'm not taking this on skill. Realistically, this is the most skillful, al along with this, this. I mean, flicking over two people is kind of skillful. They are both ex-professional footballers. They're, that's skillful. It's moments. Best YouTube football moments. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And yeah, peace.